Hey everyone, what is up? I'm Molly Jakes and today I want to teach you two ways to colorize your line work, lettering, illustrations, whatever, in Procreate app. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so colorizing your line work in Procreate app can be really important because if you ever need to like make a change to your drawing, say you're changing the color palette, really anything, it just gives you more control over what you're working on. So it's an important tool to be able to use. Okay, so I wanna show you two ways you can colorize your line work. Let's get started. Okay, well we are gonna go ahead and open up a document on Procreate app. So if you want to create a new document, that's fine. Or if you want to practice on an old document that you had before, just make sure that your lettering in the background are on separate layers. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm just going to use screen size because I really like using screen size. I am going to turn the background black because I like working uh, inversely. I'm going to create a new layer on top and say I'm gonna do it in blue. I'm gonna select my favorite brush. Uh, right now, I am going to use, let's see, I'm gonna use Smoothie Locks. This is a part of the brush pack that I have available over on my website. I will provide a link below if you wanna go ahead and purchase that. I'll give you a great deal. Um, if not, you can just use whatever your favorite brush is. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have the streamline up because that's going to give me nice pristine lettering. I'm just gonna go ahead and create some lettering on here. Okay, so you can see lines, seems appropriate. We are colorizing line work. So there are two ways to colorize your line work. First, you can go ahead and make sure that you have your um, the line work layer selected that you wanna change the color to. And I'm gonna go up to my colors panel. I'm going to select the color that I want to uh, change the original color to. And then I simply, uh, click, sorry, I simply click the little circle swatch in the top right corner and then drag on top of the lettering and drop and then make sure you drag to the right to make sure that the color drop threshold is at 100% because you can see if I if I go backwards, oops, let's try that one more time just so I can show you. Drag, so you can see if it's not 100%, there we go. All right, if it's not at 100%, the entire image is not going to be um, changed in color. So you want it at 100%. There we have it. That's it. Abracadabra, looking good. Okay, I wanna show you the second way to do it. And this is a great technique if you want a little bit more control over exactly what lines are being colorized. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a two finger tap to undo what I just did. And for this, this is like a similar technique to locking transparent pixels in Photoshop. So if you do that, um, then you're going to, you very much will like this technique. So you're gonna take two fingers and swipe to the right on the line work layer. And now you can see in the background of the line work, it's all checkerboard. And that means that the transparent pixels have been locked. And so I can go ahead, I'm going to select the color that I want. Maybe I want this like nice pale pink color. And so instead of just like completely colorizing the entire block of, uh, of lettering, I just want to um, maybe colorize bit, certain letters or bits and pieces. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn the streamline down on my Smoothie Locks brush so it's not going to have that nice uh, streamline effect on it. I'm going to turn up the brush size and now make sure you're on the right layer. I'm simply just going to color over the letters that I want to change the color of. You can see now it's just changing. And you just have more control over what letters are being colored in. So say I just want to color in the tittle on the I. I can do that. Or, you know, just the E. I can do that. 
Or if I want to color in everything, I can color in everything. And there you have it. That is the two ways to colorize your line work in Procreate app. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, leave a comment in the comments below letting me know what you think and if there's any tips or tricks that you've just been dying to learn uh, in terms of lettering on your iPad Pro. So I hope that you liked it. See you later.